Hey, it is Sarah, the founder of Girls at Scuba. I am doing a video today on one of our favorite subjects over on Girls at Scuba, and that is women's wetsuits. I did a post a couple of days ago to ask you girls how you felt about women's wetsuits, how you felt about the size, the fit, and everything in between. I got the most incredible, incredible response of how you felt about women's wetsuits, and in general, it was quite negative. So I'm going to try on five wetsuits that I've got myself and I'm going to show you the pros and the cons and the general problems of women's wetsuits. But it's not all negative, we're going to talk about some positives, we're going to talk about some great brands and hopefully if you are shopping for a new women's wetsuit, this video can help you. Let's start with a disclaimer. Of course, I cannot represent every type of female identifying body. I am just me and so it is only me trying on these wetsuits. I really feel like this video will help you no matter what size you are to actually identify what kind of problems that you might have when buying a wetsuit. Also, as the founder of Girls at Scuba, the world's largest female dive community, I'm very lucky and I get gifted quite a lot of gear. Some of these wetsuits that I am gonna to talk to you about here today have been gifted. None of this has been paid for, this is not sponsored, so everything that I'm talking to you about today is completely my own opinions, which you'll see because they're not always positive. Let's jump straight into what you guys said the problems with women's wetsuits are. I've taken some notes, are you ready? Hard to get on, hard to get off. Designed for slim women, have to buy men's wetsuits. Too tight, or too tight on the chest, too tight on the neck, not enough colors. Why are the footholds so tight? Why are there no good plus sizes? Why is the zip, zip always at the front? Why are they so tight? They're too short. The sizes are completely wrong. I always feel strangled. They're too long. There's none for female commercial divers. They're too long in the arm. They're too short in the arm. They're not made for intensive use. And they're too small in the leg. That is just some. That is just some of the hundreds and hundreds of comments. Look, it might sound like we're just completely complaining. And the truth is, how are you ever really gonna find the perfect wetsuit for every single body. It's impossible, but there are definitely things you can look out for, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. In my swimsuit, ready to start trying on the wetsuits. What I'm gonna do in this section, how long exactly it takes to put on a wetsuit, because for me, that is something really important. If it's such a struggle to put on, it's just not the one. I'm gonna tell you what size it is, and I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons. To start with, as we've discussed before, I cannot represent every single type of female identifying body, but I am usually a UK size 12 and I'm five foot 11. So I'm tall, I'm slim, I guess you would say I'm an average fit, but we know there is no such thing as an average fit. Starting off with Truly. This is the Truly Shorty Wetsuit. I have had this for absolute years when Mia, who owns Truly, first started her company and I love If you don't know Truly, they're a Canadian female run wetsuit company who try and get wetsuits for every kind of size of women. So they have 21 sizes, girls. So if you are struggling with sizes, I really would recommend Truly. So now let's see how long it takes me to put on. As you can see, that did not take long at all. It's a shorty, so that's the reason why, but it's also very, very easy to slip on. So, as you can see, it's got no sleeves and obviously no legs. Let's start with the pros of this truly wetsuit. Easy to get on, very, very warm, quite flattering, I'd say. Also, of course, it being run by a female Girls and Scuba member. Love everything about her brand. But let's go to the negatives. While I did say it's flattering, I do find that these parts here cut you off the hip and maybe make you look like you have quite a long torso and short legs. So I know for a lot of you who've got short torsos and long legs, that might not work. That's purely an aesthetic, aesthetic thing. Me, the, the biggest negative of this wetsuit is the way it completely flattens my chest. Um, and what I find is I get a bit of boob or fat coming out from the shoulders. So it does feel a little bit restrictive on my chest. But other than that, I actually really like it. It is my go-to shorty wetsuit. I usually wear it underneath um, a full length wetsuit because I'm not too lucky to be diving in many tropical climates at the moment. And it works really, really well as a layer. It's got a nice fleece inside. And yeah, I've had it for years and it's still in really, really great condition. Next up is a clip. So I'll talk about this more later, but let's see how long it takes me to get on. Whew, okay. 
As you can see, it took a little bit longer, but I think that's just because there's more neoprene. I love this wetsuit. A little bit about Calypse wetsuit. So Calypse is a Parisian brand in France run by two guys who do custom wetsuits. So, spoiler alert, this is custom fit, which means they did literally every single measurement of my body from my head literally down to my toes, even though they didn't need toes because it is a shorty. And then it took them about two months, I guess. And then they sent it to me here in England with all of my measurements. This wetsuit is as close as the perfect fit that, as it can be. But let's go through the pros and cons. Pros, of course, when you get any custom wetsuit, is it fits you to your exact measurements. You can also choose the color, each panel. I also got a Girls at Scuba logo on my arm. Everything about this I chose, I customized, and it fits. But the cons of any custom made wetsuit is of course, when your body changes and when it fluctuates like it does completely normally all the time, it can then get a little bit loose or a little bit tight. So I actually have lost a little bit of weight since I first got this and the problem is now is that once I get in the water, these thigh parts are really loose and the water gets up them quite quickly and I kind of blob out a little bit. But it is the only part of the body that has been affected. Everything else just fits really perfectly. It doesn't suffocate me. It's got a front zip, which you can also choose, which I love. Does It's not too tight on my chest, not too tight on my arms. It's long enough. This is the wonders of a custom wetsuit. Another con of a custom wetsuit, of course, is it costs money. It all costs different amounts, depending on what you want to customize, depending on what colors, what style you want. You could be looking anywhere between between four and seven hundred for your own custom made wetsuit. Now that depends on you if you think it's worth it. Personally, now I have a custom fit wetsuit, I absolutely love it. But those cons are that now that it's a little bit too loose for me, it is quite annoying when the water comes in and kind of <laughs> creates a buoyancy aid around my waist and my stomach. <laughs> Now we mean business, it is time for full length wetsuits and there is no way I can ever ever get in a wetsuit without wearing something underneath. So I wear my slip-ins, which basically is just a whole piece of lycra which makes it so much easier to slip into your wetsuit. I just cannot get into a wetsuit, whether it's <laughs> dry or wet, without wearing something underneath, especially now I'm doing it on dry land. It's gonna be pretty tough, not looking forward to this bit. But these things are great, you can get any kind of lycra, any kind of leggings, they don't have to be scuba specific, but there are loads and loads of brands that have got really cool funky colours. You only need one and it works all the time. You can also wear it if you don't need a wetsuit at all as just a coverage suit. So my next wetsuit, this is gonna be a hot one, <laughs> it is the Aqua Lung Galaxy print. You can see already it's absolutely gorgeous. It is a five mil. So let's see how long this takes me to get into. Whew. To be fair, that was actually pretty quick. I'm quite proud of myself for that. Let's just check out the colour and the print of this wetsuit because it is really, really gorgeous. It has got a galaxy print, almost like stars. There's, I don't know if you can see, but the zip is actually pink as well. And then at the bottom of the legs, you still have the galaxy print there. It is a beautiful wetsuit. I think a lot of girls have seen this, a lot of girls own it, and it is definitely very good to look at. But I'm struggling a little bit to breathe and talk to you at the same time because it is so tight around my neck. There we go, that's much better. I have to be honest, it's something that I have a problem with with all back zip wetsuits. I would say every single wetsuit I have is tight around my neck, which is something I've always struggled with. I actually even said to one of my dive buddies the other day, do you think it's just because I've got a fat neck? Because I feel like, I, because I always wonder why they're so straggling tight. It's actually hard to talk to you here. 
So I don't actually know the answer to that, but every single wetsuit I have got is very strangling. Pros, obviously, other than it looking absolutely amazing. This is a size 12 and I am a size 12, so this is completely true to fit for me. And that is great. That feels really, really good, actually, getting a wetsuit that is in your normal size. Another pro is it's extremely warm. It is a five mil, but I have actually worn it here scuba diving in the UK. I did actually wear it with my truly shorty underneath but it's really really warm and I absolutely love it. I've had it for a few years now. It's still looking great. It still fits great. Now let's talk about the cons. Neck. Other than it being too tight around my neck I can't really see any other major cons about it at all. If it was me, if I could, I would have the zip at the front then it wouldn't be so suffocating on my neck. It's not the most flattering wetsuit I've got, but I don't mind. It fits me, it's warm, and I absolutely love the print, and it didn't take too long to get on. Right, next one is actually a two-piece. So it's got summer leggings and then like a spring suit top. Let's see how long this one takes to get on. Super quick, nice and easy, and there's quite a few reasons for that. So, it is only a two mil, so it is very thin compared to a five mil. Regardless of the fit, you actually will find that getting a two mil one is, is always a little bit easier than getting a five mil, you've got a lot more layers of, of neoprene in those five mils. So it is very quick and easy to get on. I also love that it's two pieces, which again makes it that much easier to get in. This wetsuit is by XL and it's designed by Ocean Ramsey, who a lot of you probably know. It's a very famous print. I feel like if you follow her or if you know anything about her and the people she's worked with, all of them are wearing this whale shark print. It's probably two years old, maybe a bit more, two or three years old. And since then, everybody has started doing whale shark prints, so there is a lot of whale shark print around. Usually, Two-piece wetsuits are actually for free diving and spear fishing, and the reason that you have two pieces is the flexibility that you can kind of get in those legs, especially when you are free diving, which is completely different kicking than scuba. The flexibility in the legs and not having that kind of like neoprene bag around your crotch is a lot easier. Something like this XL 2 mil you can wear for scuba diving, you can wear for snorkeling, free diving, whatever you want. Okay, so let's start with the pros. Obviously it looks great. I think it's a really nice pattern. Um, it's not very original anymore, but when it first came out, it was very original. It looks great. Um, another good thing is that you can buy the two pieces in different sizes. So my bottoms are a large and the top is a 12 and they fit me pretty well. The great thing is, is there is a lot of stretch in it. A lot of stretch. I mean, it's a really stretchy kind of neoprene wetsuit. So I feel like even if I put on weight, I lost weight, it would still fit. I do really like the two pieces. For me, it does feel super, super flexible around that kind of like hip and crotch. Pros, looks good, fits well. You can buy it in different sizes. Cons are, I know that this particular brand and this particular design do not sell plus sizes. Um, large, I think they might go up to extra large, which kind of sizes out anyone that is slightly bigger than me, which is crazy. So you see the wetsuit, you like it, you think it's cute, you want it, but it doesn't come in your size. That is something that's really, really hard for anyone who wears a wetsuit that wants one. I need a con for XL and Ocean Ramsey, not selling them in larger sizes. Another con for me is that the actual leggings are really low, so they barely kind of come on my hip. So if I was to wear it without this top bit, I would constantly be trying to pull them up. So I can't actually wear them without the top bit. Um, I just think the legs are too short. Maybe that's because I'm long. The arms, the arms are a good size. The good thing about it is that it doesn't choke me like the others do, but this is very, very thin neoprene and it's a lot stretchier as well. So I still think it would be good to have the zip at the front, but I am all for zips at the front. Overall, it's a good wetsuit. It's not very warm. Um, I kind of feel like maybe it's more of a fashion statement, um, although it is very easy to just chuck in your bag and if you are diving in warm waters, it's you against the sun and protects you against corals or rocks or anything that you should accidentally be hitting underwater. 
Okay, next up is Fourth Element's newest wetsuit, which is the surface wetsuit. So this is for scuba diving, but it's also for open water swimming, for surfing, any kind of water sports. I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite nervous to put this on because I've, I've managed to wear it twice and I have neither time been able to do it without anyone helping me. So let's see how long the Fourth Element surface suit takes to get on. Oh, oh, I think I just crooked my neck. I'm gonna have to have a little break. I'm really hot. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that was quite the ordeal, as you can see. So, the fourth element surface suit is more the typical surfing suit that we know that you have to put it on and then put it over your head with this tiny bit of neck seal. Now, I guess it comes back to my my big neck and my big head, but that took me so long and the only way I could do it was to actually crook my neck. But anyway, this is what the fourth element <laughs> surface suit looks like on. Let's talk about some pros and cons of this suit huge huge run for the scuba diving and wetsuit industry is this is not made from neoprene it's made from natural rubber rubbers and recycled material so it's grown it's not made which is amazing because we have plenty of resources on this planet rather than making more and more man-made ones at the end of the day neoprene is not a sustainable material as much as, as scuba divers we try and be sustainable as eco-friendly as we can, we layer ourselves in neoprene which will never biodegrade or break down. So neoprene, all of our wetsuits are going to be here forever. But what Fourth Element have done is created this new kind of grown, not made wetsuit with natural rubbers. That is a massive, massive pro. I'm going to go on to the cons and this is for me. This wetsuit obviously does not fit me. This is a size 12. So Fourth Element have recently redone their sizing and when I spoke to the guys at Fourth Element they said that they're way more true to size than they used to be so if I am a size 12 then I should have a size 12 wetsuit. Obviously that didn't work for me. On, it's, it's very snug, <laughs> it's very tight as you can see it absolutely flattens my chest. Um, it doesn't fit me, this wetsuit doesn't fit me, so is it fair to talk about the, pr the cons of a wetsuit that doesn't fit me? Probably not, but I've got it! <laughs> and I don't really think I'm going to be able to wear it that much because it takes me so long to get into. If I am going for an open water swim, I want to just chuck something on real quickly and be able to take it off real quickly too. So I don't think I'll be able to wear it for swimming. For scuba diving, it's just too tight for me. Again, it's very restrictive on the neck part. That kind of zips up and down and that's how you get out of it with your neck seal. I love Fort Fenneman. I love everything they're about. I love their sustainability. I love all of their stuff there. It's a great, great brand, but this does not fit me. This wetsuit does not fit me. So I would just say, if you are looking at the sizes, I do still think that with Fort Fenneman, you do still need to go up a size. I actually had to get changed, open the window, I'm a little bit sweaty. But I just wanted to show you that you can obviously slip into your wetsuits wearing anything. This is my favourite colour, uh, it's a quite a new Aqualung rash vest. And then I've got some of my favourite leggings on, which are full of sharks. And they buy, they're by Scuba Sisters. So, I'm going to do one more wetsuit and I'm gonna give Full Fenneman a chance to redeem themselves with this great Xenos 3 mil. I do love this wetsuit, so let's see how long it takes me to get on. Is that up? So I've still actually been able to get that up, but it's because it's got trapped in my, ra my rash vest underneath. And I haven't got anyone else here to help me. <laughs> oh, I mean, when putting on wetsuits, always try and have a buddy near. But it is pretty much up and you can see what it looks like. Okay, I really love this wetsuit. I feel like it makes me look like superwoman. I love it. I love that 
These panels here are very super woman-ish. I love the fit. It's a three mil and it's really, really warm. This is a size 14. As I said, I'm usually a size 12 and this fits me really well. So I kind of wish that I just went for the size 14 in the surface suit before, but this 14 is really, really great. And it's one of, it's one of the wetsuits I've had for the longest time. It is usually my go-to when I'm in a kind of like mid range to tropical climate because it is usually quite easy to get on and it is really warm even for a free meal. I also just really love the way it fits, the way it looks. Um, a couple of cons, I don't even have the zip fully up but again it's tight on my neck. I just feel like if there was a zip at the front I just wouldn't have that problem as much but there we go. It is a little bit short on my legs, um, I am quite tall so I do find that happens quite a lot with wetsuits so it's just above my ankle but I don't find it's that much of a problem because I just wear good boots as well. There isn't really any other cons. I really, really love this wetsuit. It's a really great wetsuit for anyone who dives a lot and who wants to stay warm. I would just say make sure that you check out the size and then make sure the sizing is correct. I genuinely feel like I've done a workout trying on those wetsuits. I'm sure you can all relate, but I'm gonna leave it there. I do have loads of other wetsuits. Just let me know and I can do some more videos. Please also keep dropping comments on what you find difficult about female wetsuits. And what I've done for you is I've linked everything down below, all of these wetsuits. You would have seen all the prices, all the sizes, how long it took me to get on, etc. throughout the video. But if you want more information, it's all linked below. I've also linked the original post of me asking you guys what the, what you feel like are the biggest problems are with women's wetsuits. So you can take a look at those. Until next time, guys, I'm going to go and sit down and have a rest. See you soon.